Hey, what's up? Uh, this is uh, Ubuntu eleven ten, and this is the final release. Uh, I just, I just, I, uh, I didn't realize that it was out today until um, I completely forgot, for, uh, forgot about it until I saw in my um, on my KDE desktop it said uh, software update eleven ten available today, and I'm like, what? And I checked the website, and I'm like, oh my god, it's available. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so wow, I have long intros. Whatever. Anyway, so uh, just going to go over some of the features uh, since my last video. Um, if you haven't seen it, then I will link to it right where my mouse is. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, right where my mouse is. Okay, there. Anyway, so uh, this is the uh, new thing. They, they have this here. Apparently it was perma permanent. I don't like that. Um, and uh, one, w think of it like this. As a new user, you look at this stuff right here. And you, you see this is application. You know, if you know Firefox, you know this is an application. You click on it and it opens it up. Uh, you know, it opens up the application just like you'd expect. This is the menu, you know, the whole where you're supposed to go. It's not an application. And, well, I guess technically it is. I don't know. But basically this right here is supposed to be the menu. And to have it be where the applications are can be a little bit confusing. Um, so, you know, in Dash Home, I guess it kind of is like that. So the reason I liked it up there before was because uh, when it was up here uh, from 11.04, uh, it was like you knew it was a menu, you know, you knew it was the thing. This right here, I, I don't like it. I, you, that's just me. Uh, you might like it. You might be like, yeah, I love that. So, you know, I don't know. All, whatever turns you on, man. Anyway, so uh, now we have uh, the reason that I also have a problem with this being here is I added some extra things down here uh, onto the extra to the thing, and they also have some cool little animations on here now too, which are kind of cool. And then like it goes, you go over and then comes back. Anyway, so uh, I added some new f uh, these things right here just so I can show you the point. Now let's say you have uh, let's say system settings open, right? And you're doing whatever you want to do, but you want to go to the menu. You now have to go up to here and scroll up here. And let's say you don't have a scroll, or you're on a laptop, and it's it's you know you have to like you know figure out where the scroll is, especially for new users. It can be a little bit confusing. Um, then you have to hold your mouse up here to go up there. And if you have a lot of a lot of stuff on here, because I have seen people who have a lot of stuff on their dock. If you have a lot of things over here, or I don't know panel, I don't know whatever they call it on this system. Uh, it's the same thing. Anyway, so um, so if you have a lot of things over here and you're all the way at the bottom, then you have to go up here to the menu or up here. Well, that's that's for that. But up here to the menu instead, when it was up here, it you know it would be right there. Also, I kind I don't. Oh, I guess that doesn't maximize, so I can't show you that. Uh, give me a sec. So um, you know I don't like the fact that you just have the text up here and then these go away. That is a little bit confusing. Um, I don't because the text just doesn't look graphically nice there's no like little you know the picture or whatever like right next to that where it would be like the icon or I don't know it just it's not there and it doesn't look right it, well it doesn't look as nice you know that looks nice but then when you have it maximized it kind of just looks you know the the close buttons go over it hold on let me see if there's something that's longer like Firefox like Firefox web browser okay so it, it just completely covers it up uh, so I don't know what they're doing with that whatever anyway so let's say you also are just here and you want to get to workspaces you have to go all the way down here to click on the workspaces and then you have to go all the way back up to hit, hit the uh, menu um, also you have uh, where if you have attached uh, devices this right here is the um, uh, um, yeah so if I remove that that should go away Okay, I love how that didn't work. CD, yeah, there shouldn't be anything attached. Anyway, I guess it's VirtualBox. It's not the system, or maybe it is a system. Who knows? Anyway, so um, so that I don't like. Um, you have to go all the way down to the bottom of this, and then back up here for uh for the menu. Um, and if you have attached drives, they're all the way down here too. So um, not sure what they're doing with that, or if they're keeping it like that. Don't know. Um, the menu has a bunch of cool little like like animations I don't know if you saw it but uh they like fade in and um, you know like the application things fade in it's all smooth and all that stuff I'll say I really do like that and it really is nice um, but I mean they still have the problem that I was meant making uh, in my other video was you you have now actually it was seven columns last time now there's eight columns and they actually went 
more columns. Um, so they have seven column, eight columns here. I gotta, there's they have eight columns here that uh, for the thing instead of having you know the you know the, instead of having like only a few um, because with with this right here this is quite a lot. I mean if you're a new user seeing this many icons as I made as I said in my last video. Uh, making this many i having this many icons in front of you it can be extremely overwhelming. And when you hover over something, still no information. I don't know if they're ever going to put information in there, or like, you know, I, I have no idea. Um, they still have the uh, in the system menu. They still have uh, startup applications up here, which I don't know why, um, because that should be on like the system settings, you know, startup applications. So. You know, I I don't I guess, um, and this would be the update manager, I believe. Yeah, the update manager. So right now I'm up to date. Uh, I checked two hours ago, so whatever. There might be updates. Anyway, uh, this right here. I thought this was a bug. <laughs> Apparently this wasn't. Uh, they got rid of the little green or green uh, orange thing right here. Uh, why? Um, I'm not too sure. Uh, it's if anything, it's a little bit too. Con it's now kind of confusing. If it's at the dead center, you know, like people coming from Windows who've always used Windows, they see it, it vertically. They don't see it horizontally. So, um, I mean, you could say it's, I guess, universal that it, that right is that. But like, um, I have no idea. So, I, I don't know why they would get rid of that. Um, it, it, that's kind of pointless. I, I don't really know why they'd get rid of that. Um, maybe someone knows why, or maybe they even said why. Who knows? Uh, so the software center is pretty much, I think, the last thing I'll touch upon. Um, yeah, the software center, it looks new. Like I had my video, only now you have a, instead of that being the awesome little picture they had, I'm assuming it's going to be the featured applications, or, you know, uh, I don't know if it would be an ad, or uh, probably not an ad, but, you know, whatever this, because this right here is a paid application. So, um... Anyway, but um, one of the things I noticed was this number right here. Um, this says 36,000. Um, what's clickable there? Oh, I guess I just... Anyway, uh, so it says 36,000. Again, clickable. Is there something clickable down here? Whatever. Okay. Oops. <laughs> anyway, so there's 36,000 things here. Um, when I was looking at the uh, the my last video... It had a, which is the alpha, I think, or the beta, I don't know. But it, it was uh, basically, it had 56,000. Uh, I'm not sure where the, the, the 20,000 applications went, or if that number was bugged. I was like, yeah, more applications. I look at theirs. Oh, I look at this. Nope, no more applications. Yay. So, categorization, as always, is extremely poor for, like, games and whatnot. But um, other than that, I will say that this um, uh, wow, this this video probably really sounds like I'm I'm beating on uh, on Unity. I really do like where Unity is headed. This is um, uh, eleven ten. They have one. The next release will be the long term uh, LTS release, the long term support. Uh, and I really do like that uh, the changes that they've made. And this really does seem like a way way more polished system than eleven point oh four. I do like this system overall more than I liked eleven point oh four and I'll probably put this on my laptop or whatever. I probably won't have it on my desktop because um you know I like KDE right now and I think it's just for my desktop I like having something that I know is is good. I don't know if I'm gonna update my KDE version, the latest one. I probably should, but whatever. Anyway, so uh that's all I have. Uh comment section as always is free for you to to rage or to, to love. I don't know, whatever you do. So that's it. Uh, bye.